Welcome, in front of me is a POCO F8 Pro and today I will show you how you can enable and set up your portable hotspot. So to get started you will want to swipe down from the top right side of the screen like this and this will bring down all the toggles. Now in here you're looking for the hotspot toggle which if I'm correct it's not added by default so we will need to do that ourselves by clicking on the edit button right here at the bottom and then finding our hotspot somewhere below here. If I remember correctly it will look like a chain link icon and it does so right here. So once you find it you can click on the plus and then check mark and you can see it's now right here. Unfortunately there is no labels for these so you'll need to remember how it looks like. Now when you see it in this panel hold it and this will take you to the settings. Now I, I recommend checking those settings out at least once. So we're going to navigate right here to set up portable hotspot and you most likely want to start with the password. You can see default password is a randomly generated mess. So I'm going to just get rid of this abominable password and set up my own new one which is uh, very simple but so is my memory so I'll keep it this way. Now next, if we scroll down, uh, we have other things like, for instance, uh, security. I recommend keeping it as it is. Uh, we have a P-band, which we have option between 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Um, this option will vary uh, depending on person. So I'll try to explain it a little bit more in depth so you understand uh, what this does and when to use it. But the general gist of it is you would be probably most interested in using this if the device that you're going to be connecting to this hotspot with supports it. That's number one. And number two, if the area that you're trying to use this hotspot in has overcrowded network. So very kind of dense densely populated areas like New York City might have problems with the 2.4 gigahertz frequency for any kind of signals. Uh, so in this case, you might be more interested in selecting the 5 gigahertz, assuming the other device supports it. If it doesn't support it, you just simply won't be able to see your hotspot at all, which kind of defeats the purpose of a hotspot. Now, the benefit over one over the other is uh, for phone purposes, kind of uh, almost non-existent. So the be one benefit, which is the kind of more open frequency, allowing uh, more crowded networks, uh, like five gigahertz, meaning you can also, like in a crowded city, for instance, this will work, the five gigahertz, while the 2.4 might not. Uh, so that's one benefit. But the other ones, which would be with it, uh, associated with the 5 gigahertz, like increased amount of people that can connect to it, uh, higher data bandwidth, uh, faster speeds, and all that, all that jazz. Uh, it really doesn't matter whatsoever for mobile network purposes. Uh, for the most part, 2.4 gigahertz network is uh, still going to have enough speed in in it to to accommodate majority of mobile network speeds as far as I can tell. For instance, on my phone, my phone caps at 60, uh, 60 megabytes per second. 2.4, uh, I was getting 600 at home. So uh, great, I can basically push out 10 times more speed out of 2.4 without actually probably reaching the cap of it. So um, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, uh, you only would be interested in this if you live in a densely populated area and the 2.4 isn't working correctly. And hide SSID would basically hide your network from the list uh, when you're looking for Wi-Fi signals, uh, which means that you need to like select it from the bottom to add manually and you need to provide the uh, SSID or aka name of the Wi-Fi and also the password. And if you misspelled something or put a space incorrectly, uh, you're not connecting to anything then. So I don't recommend turning that on. Uh, after all, your hotspot is protected with a password. Might be simple in my case, but still most people won't be going around trying to guess your hotspot password. Now make sure you click on the check mark to save the, those changes. And before I go any further, um, I do want to also talk about one last option in here, which is the turn off hotspot automatically. 
this option basically makes it so your phone will turn off the hotspot on its own when there is no connected devices to it which is actually a pretty decent option uh, as hotspot does consume more of your phone's battery and on top of that this one works based on connection so as an example if you're using a laptop doing some work and you close the lid of your laptop because you're done working that will mean that your the laptop disconnects from your hotspot which is pretty good now alternatively some other devices have idle time and idle time you could still be using it but just not using any data for like 10 minutes and your phone would turn it off so that's a bad one this one is a good implementation but i do want to point out i don't know maybe for you sometimes your hotspot turns off for no reason you might want to turn that off in this case i or try to reevaluate what is causing it to turn off um, and try to fix it. Anyway, let's close this up, find the toggle again, and this time around I'm just going to simply tap on it to turn it on. And you can see the top hotspot is on. So right now it is enabled, we also have the icon in our status bar, and once you're done using it, you can also turn it off yourself. You don't need to do that, you know, disconnection from it, you can just click on the toggle and boom, it's now completely off. So anyway, with that being said, hope you found this very helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.